Welcome adventurers. I've been wanting to share more immersive experiences with you all. And one of the things that I came across is called Clued Up Games. It's a geo gaming event company, uh, which means that it's a location based mobile game that can be played on your phone using GPS. We used an app to follow a map that mirrored our physical location to follow clues and to finish quests. But you can't download the app and play at any time like you could Pokemon Go or something in that vein. It's a ticketed event. Uh, that's only available in your city on particular days with your ticket. If you read on their website, their goal is to take a typical board game format and turn that on its head and turn it into a physical outdoor adventure. Think of something like Clue, but you have to physically go out around your city and so maybe you walk to the park and it shows up as the ballroom in the game where you investigate for clues. Hundreds of teams compete in their event. Looking at our scoreboard, it looks like exactly 100 showed up to ours. Clued Up Games has different themes for their different events, and I was excited because the theme that uh, we signed up for was... Alice in Wonderland! I was excited about this because I heard a cosplay contest was part of it. Prizes would be awarded in the following categories. Uh, the fastest team, best Alice in Wonderland inspired dressed team, team picture, team name, best player under 16, and the best dog photo. The premise of the game is this. Alice is trapped in Wonderland and time is running out to save her. Solve clues which get curiouser and curiouser. Take on mad and mischievous challenges and uncover a dark conspiracy at the heart of Wonderland. Receive clues via your phone as you scramble across town to solve puzzles and complete challenges against the clock. The exact starting point was kept a mystery until two weeks before the game, but we did know that it was going to be a central, easy to access place in downtown Salt Lake City. Okay, here's some facts about the game. You only need to buy one ticket for your team and you can have up to six team members on your team. Kids 16 and under play free. You can start anywhere between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. on the day. Uh, we went super early because we didn't know this but I'm glad we did because I think most of the people who were really into it and in costume were there right at nine o'clock. The event lasts between two and three hours. We landed in 16th place with a time of about an hour and a half. Let me introduce the team, by the way, that I played with. We had Pit Plum as March Hare, Robin Swift and Ben Chu as Cards, Jenica Schultz um, as Alice, and myself as the Red Queen. We all logged into the app and gathered near the starting point. And then as soon as we got within range of the start of the game, our timer began and the game was on. We hurried to each location, solving riddles and arranging puzzle pieces on our phones. Some challenges required you to shake your phone really fast uh, related to what was going on in the app or to blow into the mic or to uh, arrange different puzzles in like a block. One nice thing that was once you had visited a character, you didn't necessarily have to go back to them when you checked in. Uh, so while we did have to go all around the city, we didn't have to keep going to the same locations. We were always going to new locations. We started to get a good little system going where one of us would run ahead to catch the next clue or the next character and then meet halfway up with the rest of us to solve the next puzzle. Time was added to our score whenever we guessed wrong or uh, made a misstep in the game and then time was taken off whenever we did well or whenever we answered questions and riddles correctly. Eventually, Alice was found. Kalu kale o fraptious day and we went out to lunch to celebrate. Things I liked about this was that it was $80 for one ticket for the entire team, but uh, I got a 50% off code. And then with five of us, that came about to like $8 each, not bad. The best part of it by far was seeing all of the groups in cosplay and seeing people in town and tourists just baffled by what was happening. Several people had their phones out recording us as dozens of Mad Hatters and other Wonderland characters passed them on the street. It was awesome just sort of having this shared experience with other people in the city and occasionally interacting with them to comment on costumes. Kids could join free, so a lot of families were out enjoying it together too. Here's some things that could definitely be better though. I was really excited for our group to try to win like the group photo contest or the costume contest. And as far as I could tell, you could just, you had to use the app to take the picture and put the picture on the app 
And then, so I just put a placeholder one to take a better one later uh, because we wanted to get started. But I I could not replace the photo. I don't know if that was just user error or whatever, but it wasn't very user friendly if you could uh, fix it. Because yeah, I just, we didn't have a very good photo and that was sad to me. Um, also, there was no public recognition of the winners. <laughs> I don't know who won the best dog photo or the best costume or any of those categories other than the best time was on the leaderboard. Again, maybe there's just something I wasn't seeing, but I, I looked around on the app a good deal and I couldn't see any indication of that. Even just like an email afterwards saying who would have won would have been nice. Okay, some advice. Wear walking shoes if you ever do a clued up game, because obviously a lot of walking. Use a discount code. You can get 50% off your first clued up event uh, by using the discount code TAKE50 at checkout. Uh, this isn't affiliated. That's just literally written on their website. If that doesn't work, maybe look around to see if there's a different disc code on their website when you're looking. Dress up. It was definitely half the fun, even costume contest, you know, debacle aside. I can't say um, for sure when most groups were there, but it looks like most of them were at the start. So I would say go early to the event. The app opens very slowly. So just be aware that if you're going to check a text or call someone or be a fool like me and try to film your experience at all and play the game, that there's going to be a big lag in every time you wanna reopen the app. Being downtown, sometimes there was construction in the way of where our game was supposed to be on the map, but they had accounted for that. So say the location on the phone was across the street, if we were across the street where it was safe, it would detect us and say that we could talk to that character at that point. So that was good. So just be safe, be aware of your surroundings. All in all, we enjoyed the event. It was a super fun way to hang out with friends and a good way to explore downtown. So thanks to Clued Up, we had a blast, fix that app up a little bit and uh, make sure to give some credit to the winners of the different categories. Until next time, keep creating and stay ever adventurous. Bye.